What would you do if you walked onto an elevator and somebody knew that you were Catholic and they looked at you right in the eye and they said, tell me why you're Catholic? Would you have a good response? They just hit the button for floor 10 and you have probably 30 seconds to give them a really, really great answer of why you're Catholic, which at the end of the day is actually why they should be Catholic too. This video is about developing your own story. So once we know the kerygma and we feel comfortable sharing that with people, then it's time to start telling people what the kerygma means to us, what the Lord has done, how far he has brought us. So we've got two steps in this video. For those of us raised in the church, we may have had this great encounter with the Lord and we know he wants a personal relationship with us. For others, we know that we should be Catholic, that we should be committed to following Jesus, but we haven't had that personal encounter yet. We're going to walk through two different things you can do if you know what that story is to help you start to develop it. And if you haven't yet had that encounter, how to begin reflecting upon your life and seeing and encountering the Lord in your own story. So let's start with if you have had that encounter. What I'd like you to do is reflect upon the first time you knew that the Lord wanted to have a personal relationship with you. What was going on? What was the context? What was the setting? I'd invite you to be to take some time and write this down. So this is probably going to take about 15 minutes. So after the video, you can click on the worksheet and give yourself 10, 15 minutes to really reflect on these questions. Next, think of a time when your faith was challenged. How did the Lord strengthen you? What obstacles did he help you overcome? This is really important for a lot of people because they might be experiencing challenges in their life and they want to know what the Lord can do for them. Next, think of a time when you were completely overwhelmed with God's love. What was that like? What caused that experience? What would you want to share with other people about the, the joy of that moment? Next, how is your life different because of Jesus? And what would your life be like without him? I know reflecting on my own story, it would not be anywhere near as good as it is now because of Jesus. Finally, how is your faith different than it is 10 years ago, than it was 10 years ago? What has changed? What has wrote about that change? And are you happy with it? You might have some other aspects of your story that you want to bring in as well, something that is really important to you, a person who witnessed to you. Feel free to write about those as well. And then begin practicing this as an elevator speech. Then from that elevator speech, expand it. Maybe make it a two-minute speech. And then if you were able to chat with somebody over coffee, then if you are having a really, really long conversation, perhaps on a plane, they can't go anywhere and neither can you, so what a great time to share about your faith. Now, what if you haven't had that moment? You know that God is real. You're committed to Him, but you haven't had that experience. What I want to share with you is called discernment. It's a process where you look back on your life with God. Could be looking over today, this past week, or a single moment in your life and asking him to show you where he was at that time, how he was helping you. This is a little bit like running your hand over a surface and feeling where it's smooth and bumpy, where there's low spots, where there's high spots. Those, I would say, are moments of either turning to God because you accepted his invitation or perhaps you didn't accept that invitation and you turned away from him. So I'd invite you, call to mind something that happened in life that was really memorable. It could be good. It could be neutral. It could be really challenging. Maybe it was a, a wedding, the birth of a child. Maybe it was the loss of someone you love. You're going to go over this memory, relive it, but shoulder to shoulder with the Lord. So I'd invite you, imagine that you are watching this almost like a movie with Jesus standing next to you. What are those high spots? Maybe where you felt really good, you had a lot of joy, high emotion. Then what are the low spots? At this moment, you have an opportunity to recognize either where you could have given thanks to God or perhaps where you turned away from God 
and didn't accept his grace, didn't accept an opportunity to walk with him and shoulder the cross. The first of those is a cause for joy, a cause of thanksgiving. The second, and I say this reverently with no condemnation, but that's an opportunity for repentance, for saying, Lord, I'm sorry that I didn't live up to the invitation that you held out to me, but I want to live differently. I want to try again. And then ask him to show you how you could have responded differently. Now, if you really don't see where God was moving in your life, was giving you grace to respond differently, ask him to show you those moments in your story. And maybe this memory isn't providing those opportunities. So think of another one, something with really, really high emotions, really, really low emotions, and ask the Lord to show you where he was. And not just where he was, but where he is and continues to be in your story. So our action steps for this video include writing your own story and reflecting where has God been. In fact, you could do both of these, whether you have had that encounter moment or not, because it provides us with practice at recognizing God in our life. Go make disciples.